I've been following what's been going on, uh, the protests by the millions of you who have taken to the streets to protest the police and government brutality um, that is being meted out on the civilian population of Santiago and the people of Chile by the Piñera uh, government. Um, this harkens back to the terrible days of the Pinochet dictatorship uh, that we all remember with horror and which we would um, prefer to forget. No, actually, we will never forget it. I'm holding this spoon up. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Um, there is a curfew in your country and in the great city of San Diego. And uh, I believe it's at sundown. Um, anyway, every evening um, you are driven from the streets under threat of death from the government forces. I cannot imagine how disturbing and distressing that may be, but I, by friends, have been sent short videos and, th and this is what I've been hearing. Uh, with the people leaning out of their windows or standing in their doorways are banging pots and pans with a spoon or another implement as a, as a mark of non-silent protest to what's going on. Um, I, I'm going to take this outside onto my porch when the sun goes down tonight and I'm going to bang it for a minute. My heart is with you. In, in Chile, as you resist um, uh, the attempts by this by the Piñero presidency to impose his uh, neo-fascist will on the good people of Chile, um, I hope that some of us in the West, by joining you in your protest, can persuade uh, Senor Presidente to stop killing your children. Stop blinding the children in the street by shooting them in the eyes with bellines or whatever projectiles it is that you're using. Uh, my friends in Santiago tell me that the clinics are overflowing with wounded people and that this already overstretched um, medical staff in, in these public facilities cannot keep up with the stream of wounded who are coming in. I saw a video that was sent to me just the other day of a jeep coming round a corner, four soldiers jumped out and fired indiscriminately at a group of young people standing there. And from the look, from the inert nature of the bodies they piled up in the street, they appeared to be dead. This is shocking. It's shocking beyond all belief uh, that a government would do this. Uh, to its people, because the people they're doing it to are the huge majority of people in Chile who are sick of the inequality between the ruling class and the super rich and how most of them live. Most people have seen their pension shrink and so on and so forth. And the, the upgrading or, or the increase in um, subway charges, which was the start of these protests, is a drop in the bucket and is not the actual real reason why two million Chilean people would take to the streets and protest and be there with their pots and pangs, singing the songs of Victor Hara and others. And I'm sure there are a lot of contemporary protest songs as well that people are picking up on. So from all these thousands of miles away, I just say that I, I support you, I feel for you, I feel for everybody who's been injured. I feel for all their relatives. I will stand in solitary solidarity with you by my pond and bang this pot for one minute tonight when the sun goes down. That is the least I can do. I hope I can help in some other way. So I send you all my love.